My favorite class was EX413, which is a uh, major design class. It's an analog-based um, amplifiers class, so you'll be building integrated circuits. It was a major design course where we were supposed to make an amplifier, and since I was really interested in music, I always wanted to make an amplifier. But it was also really cool because they gave a prize at the end of it, and I think it really inspired a lot of students to try wacky ideas that they had. I mean, there's a lot of smart kids here, and they come up with a lot of good ideas, and then they go to industry. And in industry, you can't do all those wacky ideas because if you try it and it fails, you, you lost the company money. But if you do it here at University of Michigan, you know, you just get a crazy amount of projects and everyone does something cool. It's taken up by a lot of our senior students here and also by some graduate students. The major goal of the course is to give students an intuition about design so that they can be creative, so they can go on and do a PhD uh, and create new things or go to industry and design and create new products for industry. We've had all sorts of different projects. It could be something like a, a high performance op amp. It could be a circuit that's, that's um, used for some sort of neural interface or some sort of biomedical application. It could be some sort of sensor interface circuits. We took a design that was pretty standard and almost like everyone thought that that was just going to be the design for like the end of time. And then we just switched it around like a little bit. We made it way better. So People would like to take an analog based class. I know a lot of things seem like they're going digital, but um, a good best answer is that the whole world is analog. Every sensory input around us is, is not discrete, it's continuous, and there will always be a need for some form of analog before we can even convert it to digital. So there's always, there will always be analog. Industry has been very positive about the course. I thought when I started off trying to get industry sponsorship for a prize that it would be a really tough sell, but in fact every year I've managed to get an industry prize and uh, typically that ranges from about $1,000 to $2,000 that's shared by the, the team. The really good projects, we, we get those fabricated. So we sent them out to IBM and the, the chips get made and the students can eventually test them. And in some cases, some really nice publications have come out of this course as well. What I liked most about EX413 was the professor. I think he did an amazing job with it. I really did like the class in general. The, the, uh, material obviously I really enjoyed because I intend to continue on with that uh, with my further studies but I think the professor the way that he introduced it and the way that he talked about it and he was passionate about it. Professor Flynn is like one of those professors you look for that you're like oh I should take more of his classes. He has us do questions and then takes time to go around individually and look how every student's doing just to make sure that they're like keeping up with the class and awake and you know paying attention and stuff. The actual teamwork itself, it's, it really is invaluable. Uh, when you go into industry, you're going to be working in a team all the time, and you're just there's no way you're going to be able to know everything. You need someone else to have some ideas. Plus, you know, we come from a little bit of different coursework backgrounds, and some of the courses that I didn't take but would have helped me in the project, one of my teammates may have, and assisted when those situations arose. Group work, it makes the project better just all around in every way and it's really important to have those skills. So.